Or since this six year old disappeared, Faye Swetlick vanished Monday afternoon. It wasn't very long after she stepped off her school bus near her home in Casey, South Carolina. Casey is just over 100 miles from Greenville down I-385 in Lexington County. It's just outside of the city of Columbia. State and federal agencies are on scene helping local authorities. Tonight, Faye's family spoke out for the first time following a prayer vigil for the little girl. It's a search effort that's gaining national attention tonight. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer joins us live in KC in that neighborhood where Faye was last seen. Brooklyn, what's happening there at this hour? Well, investigators have now been searching for more than 24 hours and in a press conference earlier, they say they're not ruling anything out, though they don't believe at this time that or have any indication that Faye was abducted. Now you can take a look here behind me. You can see the place where she was last seen here in her front yard. According to police, this was the last place she was seen around between 345 and 5 yesterday. You can see yellow tape marking off the front door as local, state and federal investigators continue searching tonight. More than a day has passed since six-year-old Faye Swetlick disappeared. We have to keep thinking that they're going to find her. Yes. We're just waiting on them to do it. Casey Department of Public Safety says more than 250 officers and investigators from local, state, and federal agencies are looking for the missing six-year-old. And most of their efforts concentrated around a one-mile radius in Churchill Heights, where Faye disappeared on Monday afternoon. We've not ruled anything out. We're not sure that she hasn't just walked off and is somewhere in the woods. A red car was towed away from where Faye went missing and is now being processed. This is just being looked at as, as possibly being involved in the case. Investigators say they have no indication Faye has been abducted and they're exhausting every lead and say surveillance video has been a helpful part of their investigation, while those closest to Faye say they're relying on faith to get them through. Heavenly Father, we want to pray first of all for um, that tight group that surrounds this family. Monica Faust is a family friend. She attended a prayer vigil with Faye's grandmother earlier. Both asked that we not show their faces. A lot of prayer. Um, we're worried, of course, very distraught, but we're only thinking positive thoughts. The community joined together with Faye's family and friends, praying for her safe return. I want my baby back. We gotta find her. Faye's family says she's a bubbly, energetic first grader with a smile that brightens up a room. They say they miss her smile and want Faye to come back home. Always has a smile on her face prettiest blue eyes you've ever seen. Smile, that'll melt your heart. Anyone who sees Faye or has information on her whereabouts is asked to call a tip line set up specifically for this case. That number is 803-205-4444. Live in Casey, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Brooklyn, thanks. And many of you have asked why no Amber Alert has been issued. And SLED wanted to clarify a couple of things. So there is criteria for issuing an Amber Alert. Now, the law enforcement agency has to believe the child was actually abducted. And you heard Brooklyn just say there's been no evidence to allude to that or the child is in immediate danger of being seriously hurt or killed. The agencies also need to have enough information to give to the public that could bring the child home. And all other possibilities have to be excluded. The child's information also needs to be input into the National Crime Center information. Now, right now, SLED says at least one of those questions has been answered as a no. So there is no reason to believe she was abducted. And keep in mind, they know a lot more than they are releasing at this hour. So there's apparently good reason they have not issued an Amber Alert. And of course, we have crews in Casey. Brooklyn is down there. As we get new information, we'll update you here on air throughout our newscast and as well on our social media apps. And the first